Revan, this is going to be a good one. Map number one. And uh, when it comes down to these two teams, on this Lightning Panda squad, who are you expecting that's going to have to step up to take down his face clan? 100% it's going to be Gunjar. This guy's the positional assault rifle player for this Lightning Panda squad. He's going to be locking down the crucial lanes on the map. And off the bat, you see both these teams trading two for two. But it's going to be Proto inside the hill for Lightning Panda. Going to kick this one off with Proto. He's going to be able to pick up a kill. Being patient, his teams are spawning up. Now, two kills being picked up here for FaZe Clan. And going to be pushing mid-map. Exotic, he got an angle, but he's going to get shut down. Still, even matchup so far. You know, you got Lightning Pandas here on board with Exotic. He's looking to get up and get up, get up, uh, push mid-map. Trying to get some kills. Great. When, when do you want to see this rotation come through? Right around now. I think this would be a good time to start fighting for that second hard point. You see on the mini-map, his teammate Royalty is actually fighting from the ruin side of the map. So he's just going to hold over near Bell and wait for his teammates to make something, some action go down behind him. But one thing that I've loved about New Orleans so far is the, the variety we've seen in the assault rifles, especially on a map like Forest. You can see the SDG, the bar has been brought out here already, and Gunjar getting killed with the FG-42. Yeah, they got a good wipe there to get map control. Royalty sitting pretty in the hill, looking to push up, get aggressive, picking up two more kills as well. Now, waiting for the rest of the teammates. They're going to be spawning back bunker. He's going to drop. Going draw. Looking to get some kills mid map. He will be able to take out replays. Looking for one more. Going to get some help here from Ex uh, Exotic. Now, pushing in. Zuma, can he take him out? Yes, he will. Get us some good shots. Looking for another one. He's sitting good on a four streak. Yeah, that's exactly why I brought up Gunjar, man. The guy's able to get so many kills on the map, and especially on, you know, our dense forest. Those salt rifles can actually play inside the hill. You have a lot of cover to work with, especially on that second one. But now as time starts to wind down, 25 seconds remaining on ruins, you got to start thinking about that moving over towards Bunker. You just saw Gunjar and the rest of his teammates spawn up near the backside of Bunker, so they just want to hold, establish some early positioning, control, and try to slay out these FaZe Clan members and transition to the new hard point. And yeah, they're sitting pretty. They say, hey, you know what, we're not going to go back for the, for the retake at Ruins. We're just going to chill, back bunker, sit up, get ready to play for this new hill, on board with Attach. He sees Proto in front of him. He's going to have some help from Zuma as well. The duo looking to push through. Zuma's going to be able to pick up a kill. Replays gets one as well. Pushing in, back bunker, wants to get these spawns. Now, can they get in? They need to clear out the members of Lightning Pandas, checking all the corners. Can they get in? He's going to win this fight with Exotic as well. Now he has some backup. Zuma gets one. Now, you got face can. They're looking good, but three players will drop, but they do have the spawns in their favor. Yeah, exactly that. And that was a beautiful break by FaZe Clan. They knew as soon as that hard point spawned up, that means that, you know, new spawns are in play. They take out the two anchoring players. They flip the spawns. They're able to break into the hard point. But now it's Lightning Pandas fighting through the front. They're contesting the hard point. Priest the peaks around the corner, now controlled by Lightning Pandas as they're trying to reestablish that lead. So you got 25 points left in this hill to possibly pick up. FaZe Clan is spawning by, by Ruins, by Bridge. So this is kind of good because this hill is about to rotate. They're going to give up the rest of this time in Bunker. You got Gunjar. He's going to fall down. Zuma, Priesta, picking up a double. They're in prime position. You see number three on your mini map. You got Zuma. He's watching that mid cut. He's watching Fire Alley. Looking to pick up some kills. Number six, Proto, wrapping around. This is going to be a key fight. He will, Proto will win the fight. Now, the rest of his teammates, they get the rest of that scrap time. Now, going to be pushing mid map. FaZe Clan has control over East Road. And a little bit ago, Priesta picks up a really important kill on the Gunjar, who is working towards some streaks. Believe he only earns that fighter play. But now, as we're at that East Road hard point, there's not a lot of cover you could take from these score streaks. I wonder if he's going to decide to use it as he falls. Kills going in favor of FaZe Clan. It's going to be attached, also streaked out for FaZe, currently on a force free inside the hill, gets the capture points, just trying to bait out the Lightning Panda, Panda's members, finds the kill on the Proto. Attach starting to heat up in this game. He's 15 and 6. Now Attach needs to play his life. Should he be playing in his hill or should he kind of back up and uh, get this rotation almost towards River? But he knows it's probably going to be at least one free kill for him and he will get it. So he will get two streaks, not able to get the barrage for him. Members will drop, spawning up now. But you already see Lightning Pandas, they're in rotation. They're trying to get over there towards River and get set up. And to answer your question, I feel like Attach should be the one roaming for FaZe Clan right now. Have somebody who's not heating up, somebody like uh, Priesta, who's 6 and 11, have him sit inside the hill and soak up the time. If Attach's shot is on point and he's hitting his shots and, and converting these kills, he should be roaming on the map, killing everything in sight. It almost looked like Lightning Pandas was trying to get them trapped in that spawn by Bridge, but yep. FaZe, they got, the, they got the spawn back bunker. They will be getting this hill. Gunjar, fighter pilot, he picks up a big double. Looking for the third, and he gets it with the triple. Now, you want to see his teammates get in this hill, get position. That's going to be four. Or wipe. 
the rest of the members back bunker exotic in a prime position to get this kill he's gonna gun down priest looking for one more he gets two gonna protect his life and he gets the triple exotic now starting to heat up ch ch chiming in for lightning pandas here right now exotic versus attached the smg matchup for both these teams now pushing through the fire alley attached gets the best of him there now with 25 seconds and counting remaining on the cave hard point always think about that rotation to the next one and on the phase clan side you need to see replays get involved you need to see priesta get involved if those guys can start to find their footing in this game phase clan can start to mount a comeback attached with the stg looking to take out proto got a key kill with that glider bomb may wait for his teammate priesta to get into top ruins being aggressive he does have help they do have map control lightning pan is playing a little bit playing passive they want the rest of their teammates to spawn up you see number three on your mini map zooming he's fire alley about to get into a gunfight he will get gunned down now attach you got a flank coming in from exotic two's gonna drop Attach, Priesta, can they hold off? Attach goes down, Priesta goes down as well. Now, Lightning Pan is able to get this hill. 45 seconds left, you're gonna have the rest of the members of Phase spawn over here by Bridge. And that flank you pointed out by Exotic was the key moment for Lightning Pan to break on in that hill, and that's why they were taking things slow over towards the middle side of the map, over towards the bell side of the map, because they were waiting for Exotic to get in position so they could pinch the hard point from all these different angles. You're gonna have Priesta fall, Proto, he's gonna be mid-cut. Now, this bunker, you got 20 points left in this hill. You got number four on your minimap attached. He's gonna be getting set up back, back bunker. The rest of the Lightning, Lightning Panda still spawning by Bridge. They need to just give up on Ruins. They already got a player in position. Phase Clan, they have the back bunker spawn as well. Gonna have some key matchups mid-map by Fire Alley. Priesta looking to try to get a pick on one. He know these guys got across. Proto being cautious, attached. is gonna beat him down with the flank by Royalty. Gets Priesta. Knows he had three plays in the spawn. Gonna connect with one shot. Needs some help from his teammates. Zuma's gonna get the kill. He actually goes down. Goonjar gets one as well. So they will be able to get these spawns back bunkers. So good push by them. And, and once again, Lightning Pandas have a player already pushed out on the other side of the lane, which forces Phase to spawn so far away. And it's almost like the roles were reversed on this hard point. Remember last time we were moving the bunker, Lightning Pandas had that backside bunker control, and it was Phase who flooded the anchor and took control. This time around, it's Lightning Pandas who continue to build a solid lead here. We're going to start to see attach. He picked up a big double. Got one with the nade. Won the gunfight back bunker. He's looking to come around and Proto. With the turnaround, got the kill with the pistol, so he's gonna secure the rest of the time. Phase Clan should not contest for this. They're gonna start to set up mid-map for this East Roll Hill. You see number eight on your mini-map royalty. He's looking for a flank, but he gets gunned down by replays. This is looking good so far for Lightning Pandas. And look at the score line for Proto right now. 14 and 13 on force free with a minute 50 and growing inside the hard point. He doesn't have a lot of interaction, which tells me that his teammates are doing a great job not only protecting him inside the hard point, but pushing out the lanes and establishing control on the outside. You gotta feel really comfortable if you're a Proto right now because you could trust your teammates to kill everything on the map. Now, if Faison gets the majority of these points, they're, they're back in this game. They're still in a good spot, not over for them just yet. They have good control. You see the kills coming in from Riverside, but you got you got the, the little split spawn here. You got Exotic, you got Royalty, they spawn back bridge, a little chaotic, kills being traded off. Replays knows that Exotic is in cabin. Lighting Pandas, they're getting some hill time. This is gonna be a big kill. He can get around. Now, with this kill, he will be able to get over here and start to control this river. Big double by Exotic. Oh, but he will wind up getting cleaned up by Priesta. Now, the one saving grace for FaZe right now is that nobody on Lightning Pandas has any streaks to work with here. So there, there's nothing that could kind of snowball the lead or allow Lightning Pandas to just straight up fight the front of the hard point. FaZe are not out of it yet. Yes, they're down by roughly 70 points, but we've seen bigger comebacks happen. Still, you want to see somebody else try to step up and help out Attach, who's having a great game. 29 kills, 17 deaths, 42 seconds inside the hard point, but somebody else needs to start slaying, and it looks like it's Priesta starting to heat up. And luckily enough, a FaZe, uh, Lightning Pandas didn't get no time whatsoever on that East Road Hill. But FaZe will be set up. They do got some spawns coming in by Ruins. Replays will drop. Priest is the only person in position. He gets one and he gets a big double. Can he get replays? Then he gets the triple. So that's going to be good. Attach will go in there to get that hill time. And look at him. He's almost streaked out. Can he get the kill? Goonjar is going to back up. He knows Priest is hot. He knows location. Priest needs to play his life. This is exactly what FaZe needs here. If he could earn the rest of these score streaks here, at this moment in the game, it, it could be tough for FaZe to try to give up scrap time. But because now they're starting to earn some streaks, they could rotate a little bit later and rely on those streaks to break the setup that FaZe are going to implement. As FaZe, they're slowly starting to climb back into this game. But Lightning Pandas with control of the hard point, they're inching ever so closer to closing this game out. And like you said, the saving grace of FaZe was that Lightning Pandas has no streaks. And FaZe now has a few. You see Priesta fully streaked out the rotation coming through attached picking up a big double looking to push through clean up and that's going to be a white but the rest of the spawns they're coming in from bridge we'll see if we possibly maybe get some streets caught out here they're going to play it straight up 
They're gonna die, but now two members dead. All right, here we go. Fighter pilot being called in by Priest as he's trying to clear. Lightning Panda is out of the hard point, finds the kill on the Goon Jar, spots the rest of the players as well, and also sees the spawn. So FaZe have a lot of information to work with here, and if they could get the majority of this time remaining on the Ruins hard point, win the rotation over the bunker, they can realistically climb back and win this game. You got two members falling, and Zuma gonna get the kill. Ooh. Now the rotation. You still got 30 points on his heel. The spawn's coming win. in for phase back bunker. They can't win off of this. We'll see if the rest of the priest comes in. And now here, here's the barrage. We'll see. Priest gets one. Proto coming around that corner. He takes him out as well. I don't. Lightning pandas. They're not gonna contest for this. But phase. They already got players in position at bunker. Lightning pandas is gonna start to get this rotation. Phase is still in a good spot, and they might have maybe one more streak left as well. Yeah, it was important for Attach to use his Mortar Strike there because Lightning Pandas could still win on the remaining time in the hard point. In the Lightning Pandas, they do get this scrap time. It's all about this next upcoming 60. If Phase are able to lock it down, they could close out the game on this hard point. And we saw before, when we got to East Road on the last rotation, Lightning Pandas got none of that time, so Phase needs to play this hill almost perfect. Proto picking up a big kill. You got replays in the hill, looking towards that cabin alley. Zuma with the team kill. Replay is no. Somebody may be coming fire alley soon. They're creeping up on him. Not able to get that one. But the rest of his teammates, they're spawning back bunker. They're coming in to contest. All right, this is going to be some big interactions coming in. Proto with the grenade onto attach. Priesta gets cleaned up as well. He does have a, a glide bomb to use here, but they're all inside the bunker. It's not going to accomplish much here. As Lightning Pandas, they're inching closer to closing oh. the game out through the fire alley. Oh, Replay no. able to pick up three, but Exotic with the cleanup kill. The rest of the phase members now barreling through. The glide bomb is called in, picks up the kill on the Proto, but Lightning Pandas still have the spawns in their favor. They're contesting the hard point. Attach trying to delay, delay, delay. Only five more seconds for Lightning Pandas to win this first match. And they get us some kills. Seven seconds left. Nobody, it's all up to replays. He might not, he's not oh. able to get into it. And Lightning Pandas takes map number one. For a minute there, it looked like replays was going to make the absolute hero play.